I look even more like a naked mole rat than the last time. Say hi. Say hi. Have you come to eat me because I look like a naked mole rat? You wouldn't eat me, would you, Bob? Oh, sweetie. Good girl. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we will be reviewing the Sultry Eyeshadow Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette dropped about a month ago and I've been dying to get my hands on it. I mean, just look at the glitter. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just love this packaging. It's very different than their other palettes. Have you ever seen one before? So I first saw this palette on Anastasia Beverly Hills' Snapchat and I was like, wait, what is that? That's beautiful, I love it. And I saw the packaging and it instantly drew me in because I love glitter and sparkle. And as I said before, it's much different than the other palettes. So I actually have, I have the uh, Modern Renaissance and the Norvina palette. Um, we don't talk about subculture here. So <laughs> um, as you know, if you've ever touched a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, it's very like velvety and smooth, um, just like basically all of their other palettes have been. So with this one's very different and stands out to me. Um, there's also Soft Glam as well. I don't have that one. But this one is just very different than the others. Like, it's, the sparkle is just wow. Um, also, there's no transfer from the sparkle. So, like, you see there's not any sparkle on my hand. There's, like, one. But there's no sparkle transfer. It's just all, like, compressed and beautiful. This retails for about $45. So, I mean, it's pretty pricey. But with this kind of quality you get, usually get from Anastasia, it's usually worth it because... Her eyeshadows are just iconic, like, they're just creamy and buttery, what usually happens with these. And I feel like this is going to be pretty similar to the Norvina palette and the iconic Modern Renaissance palette. So before I open her up, I just want to read a little bit on the back of the Unicarton, and it says, An essential smoky eyeshadow collection with 14 shades, featuring neutral, cool-toned mattes and metallics. I really love that because I feel like there's been a lot of warm tones coming out lately in the industry and I just love cool tones. I think cool tones really accent and highlight my natural pale skin. I just feel like there hasn't been a lot of cool tones lately and I'm just really excited to see this and what's inside. So let's open her up. So here she is, sultry, it's beautiful, glittery mess. So let's see with this, because uh, that was the unicart. Let's see with the actual palette to see if there's any transfer of glitter. So there is a little bit, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a little bit of glitter transfer, which I'm sure isn't really like shocking, but um, with some of these things that can be packaged like this can be really glitter, glittery that can be like really bad. So I've been dying to open this up, so let's see what she looks like. Oof, oh, here we go. Alright, so, ah. <laughs> there she is. Oh wow, and we got the plastic cover to make it sanitary. Wow, that's just beautiful. Look at these shades. They're just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And then of course, you get the handy dandy brush. And I actually absolutely love these brushes because I think for people who don't like to go out and have like a full on makeup collection and brush collection, like these are really great because they're really nice brushes. Like you've got a nice little blending brush here and then you've got a nice little packer brush to put on your eyeshadow or if you wanna do a little flick, it's all there. So these brushes are actually really nice that you get in the collection, so it's a win-win. I just want to stare at it for a bit, it's just so beautiful, like these shimmers are unbelievable. And wow, if you can see like this color bloom here, I am like drawn to it, it really pops in this palette, and it's just beautiful. I love shimmers, so this is going to be really fun for me to play with. I can't wait to like touch them all and swatch them, it's going to be awesome. The great thing too, I mean, some palettes don't come with mirrors, and I feel like all palettes should come with mirrors. So 
definitely a plus. Always has a mirror for Anastasia and it has one of these little peely things. So, oh, this is so satisfying. Here we go, ready. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> So before I get started on putting things on my eyes, I'm gonna do a little swatching for you and to see what things you know actually look like. And wow, I just can't wait to touch them. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the shimmers. So I'm gonna start with Pearl. Pearl is really pretty. So Pearl is right here. And I think I'm gonna do like a close up of the palette and you know, put little marks on which ones I'm doing so you can actually tell. So here we go with Pearl. Do a little one, two, three. Wow, look at that. That's just awesome. Really a lot of product. Here we go, ready? Oh, look at that sheen. That's beautiful. I love that. Wow. That'll be really great for like an under eye, or not under eye, but a inner corner or brow. Um, accent or a highlight that'll be really great because I just love having at least one color in a palette that I can highlight with it's gonna kind of give you some variety Wow these are so pretty ooh cyborg cyborg is calling my name it's just got this like duochrome like robot look to it hence the name cyborg probably <laughs> so we're gonna do a little one two three again awesome pigment pigment payoff and then we're gonna go here. Wow. That's beautiful. That's, it's like, it has like a brownish duochrome to it. So that's awesome, it's really pretty. I love that on my lid. And then another one I wanna do is rose quartz. I love rose gold, so that's kind of been my thing for like the past year. So I'm gonna do rose quartz, rose quartz. Do a little one, two, three pigment. And then, here we go. Oh, beautiful. That's just gorgeous. I love that. And then I'm gonna swatch one more for you guys before we start our eye look. Um, I'm gonna go on and swatch a matte since we haven't really swatched any of the matte colors yet. And since I said that Bloom kind of stuck out to me, I'm gonna go on and swatch that with my pinky. So we've got all like a one, two, three. Pigmented. I say pigmented. <laughs> Here we go, ready? Wow, it's like so beautiful. That's just awesome. There's like, it's not streaky at all. It's just beautiful. All right, now that we swatched a couple, let's start our eye look. So I, to prep my eyes, I used my Can't Stop One Stop foundation. I just go over it and then I set it um, with some powder and the powder I used to set it was the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. It's my go-to baking powder right now. But to begin, I'm gonna go in with a transition shade and I'm going to use the, the color Birch. And I feel like this one is pretty much meant to be a transition shade and going one, two in there. But that's pretty good payoff, so I'm gonna start in my crease. And it's usually, I usually go in really light with my transition because I like to build it up and just, you know, have it be a transition, not something super stark and dark. Go in a little bit more. And I just blend and blend and blend until it is like beautifully um, airbrushed looking. And I go around in these circles like this, just going around and around until it's just perfect to the way I want it to be. It goes a little bit more. I always like to build up. I don't like to go in there with a hard amount of eyeshadow to begin with because it's harder to um, decrease than it is to increase in, eye in eyeshadows. And once I have my transition shade kind of put on, I like to go in one more time with the transition shade and go into my outer crease and I go, I flick outwards because I like to have like a cat eye, like a cat eye look to it because I think it makes my eyes like really lift them. I just flick outwards. My hair is getting in the way. And really just blend. 
So that went on pretty nice. It's a really pretty color. I like how cool toned it is. So I also might go in with this color twig because I kind of like it as well. It's a little more cool toned than birch and I just kind of like to add dimension to my um, crease. Oh wow, yeah, that's really cool toned. If you can see that, come up close. You can see how much more cool tone that is. Ooh, it's got a lot of, it has to go a little bit of fallout here. If you can see, I just went in once with that and it just kind of brushed up a bit. So I'm gonna knock that off a bit. And then also flick out. Okay, so it's pretty much blended. Go around a couple of times in little circles on the outsides for my crease and a little higher up. So it's looking pretty good right now. I like that, it's really pretty. So next what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to take a shimmer foil on top of my lid. So I think I'm going to go in with this rose quartz shade right here. So what I usually do with my shimmers is I usually just go in with a finger because there's oils on your finger that really help place that on top of your eye. And I just love going with the finger. I think it really shows off the radiance of the color. So I'm gonna go in with my finger. Go one, two, three. And I'm gonna place it on my eyelid. So I've placed this shimmer on my eye and I think I actually wanna top it off with Cyborg because I really like that and I think Cyborg would look a little nicer with this because it's a little more cool tone of a look. So I'm gonna go in with Cyborg and just place it over, maybe just to make it a little more cool tone looking. Um, it'll really like look really cool with the rose quartz look. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Oh yeah, I like how it's duochrome now. That shimmer is just beautiful. So now I think I'm gonna go in with a, a matte shade. I think I'm gonna go with into the shade Dystopian. And I'm going to put that lightly on this um, packer brush just to define my crease on my outer crease just a little bit. So we're gonna go in right here and buff that out and then I'm going to take it down onto the outer portion of my lid to make it a little more smoky and if it gets a little too much for your liking you can always go in with your blender and just blend it out a little bit if it's too much for you So I pretty much got my smoky eye down on the top of part of my eye. I'm not very complicated when it comes to my eyeshadow. I just like a, like a one, two, three kind of eyeshadow. I put like the crease down, then the shimmer, and then maybe one on top of the shimmer, and then my outer corner. I just blend that out. So now we want to go down to the bottom lash line. So always, it's always forget to not forget. <laughs> Do not forget your bottom lash line. I think it really makes the eyes pop. And I think it's very important to the whole eye look. So I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Birch from before, just to kind of give us a little bit of a warmer tone on the bottom. And it's good to connect your eyeshadow from the bottom to the top especially if you want to do a lot extra with it. And I really, I'm not very like precise with my bottom lash line. I think it just needs to look smoked out and pretty. And then when you get to the outer, um, your outer eye, you want to make sure you connect it and flick out. 
All right, so now that this eye is complete, um, I'm just gonna go in with one of my little brushes here and I'm going to do an inner corner highlight and a eyebrow highlight. So I'm gonna go in and use the shade Pearl and I'm going to pack that in the inner corner. It's very pretty and pigmented. And then I'm gonna go in on my eyebrow and highlight my brow bone. And I always take it out just a bit, you know, I feel like it's kind of, it really helps, you know, define the brow when you do that. All right, so now that this eye is done, I'm gonna go finish this eye up and I'll be right back. All right, now that I'm back, I'm going to just do a little bit extra highlighting on my Cupid's bow, just to make the lips look a little bit extra before I put a little bit of liquid lip on this. And because I don't really want to take away from the eyeshadow, I'm not going to be putting any eyeliner on. Um, I know sometimes people like to put eyeliner on the, or the lower lash, but I like to keep my eyes open and look as big as possible. So now I'm just going to go in with my Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and I'm going to apply my lashes real quick. So let's begin. Alright, lashes are on and the last step is to put a liquid lipstick on to finish off this look. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking I'm just going to go with a nude lip for this, just to complete it all together. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a nude lip. Let me look through my pile real quick. Alright, I've got my Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, nude bundle, so I'm going to look through this real quick. Um, I think... I think I'm going to go with... Oh, this is always so hard for me. I think I'm gonna go in. I'll do androgyny. I haven't done androgyny in a long time. So if you've never seen androgyny from Jeffree Star, you're missing out. It's beautiful. It's like this really pretty, like cool tone, purpley look. And I'll put that on real quick here. Oh yeah. And just like that, I am not a naked mole anymore. <laughs> I love this color so much. It's so fall and winter. It's just so pretty. I love Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. They're just the best. And I think it looks really great with this eye look. All right, this look is complete and I just wanna give you guys a quick close up look of my eyes just so you guys can get the full picture of what this smoky eye looks like. So overall, I really loved this palette. I mean, it's just classic Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like, it's just perfect, it's beautiful, it's creamy. Everything is so pigmented and beautiful. Um, I will definitely be going in again with more looks from this palette and doing more videos in the future. Um, I just love the way this turned out. It's just so pretty and glittery and beautiful. And I'm really excited to use this black. I feel like this color Noir is gonna be really pretty, a really pretty black shadow. But overall, I have to say that this Sultry palette is approved by me because I think it's a great palette um, And it's a little pricey, but I do think it's worth your money Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this kind of content Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel um, As well as that make sure you subscribe to my other social media accounts right here So thank you guys so much again for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See ya